Okay, so let us see how do you convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction and vice versa. Vice versa means mixed fraction into improper fraction and improper fraction into mixed fraction. So let's see the first one first. Let's say you have a mixed fraction which is 4, 7 upon 9. Okay, and you have to convert this into an improper fraction. Right? Convert into improper fraction. Now, basically, if you remember, I told you that mixed fraction is what? It's a combination of a whole number. plus proper fraction. So by 4 and 7 by 9 what I mean is I read this as 4 and 7 by 9 which is nothing but 4 is the whole number here so I write it 4 plus 7 upon 9. Right? Now if you add these two, what we can do is we can write 4 as 4 by 1 and 7 by 9. So what's the least common multiple of these two numbers? That is 9. Okay, 9 goes into 1. How many times? 9. So and 9 into 4 plus 7 which is 36 plus 7 divided by 9 is equal to 43 by 9. So the technique was pretty simple. I just wrote this fraction as a sum of two numbers, 4 and the fraction. Then I showed them as a sum of these two numbers, the whole number being 4 plus 7 by 9. 4 can be written as 4 divided by 1 plus 7 by 9. I just took the LCM okay, and did the solution of this. Right? Or otherwise, if you want to know simply about this, what we can do is that you can also write 4 as what? You can simply multiply this by the denominator here and add the number here and divide it by the denominator. Whenever there is no denominator out here for the whole number, just multiply this denominator with this and add the numerator and divide it by the denominator to get the improper fraction. Now let's see how do you convert an improper fraction into mixed fraction. So let's say we take this one only 43 by 9. Okay. Now whenever you have to convert an improper fraction into a mixed fraction, you should divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, So let's do that. We will divide 43 by 9. We know 9 times 4 is 36. The remainder is 7. Right? So you have the remainder here. Okay, you've got the quotient here. Okay, and the divisor is there. In these cases, what happens is that the quotient that you have becomes the whole number. Okay, and the fraction is the remainder divided by the divisor. So what is the quotient that we have in this case? 4. The remainder is 7 and the divisor was 9. Right? Pretty simple. Just divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient which is there becomes the whole number. The remainder becomes the numerator and the divisor is the denominator. And this is the same 
if you remember which we took as an example here right so that's how basically you convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction and vice versa